The recent mass shootings here in Atlanta and in Colorado have once again reignited the debate over gun reform in Washington. Criticism from both sides on whether we're trying to go too far and not going fast enough. Loophole after loophole allows these very weapons to come on our streets and do horrible things. Do we have such a poverty of empathy in our country where we cannot be moved to change our laws unless something happens to us? The jurisdictions in this country with the strictest gun control have among the highest rates of crime and murder. When you disarm law-abiding citizens, you make them more likely to be victims. If you want to stop these murders, go after the murderers. Now, we've seen this happen before. People are killed. Congress talks about restricting guns and then nothing happens. But will this time be any different? Right now, President Biden is calling on Congress to ban assault weapons and close background check loopholes. Now, Democrats who control the House and the Senate are hoping this is the time for action. The House recently passed two bills expanding background checks, but 10 Republican senators would have to join all Democrats to pass gun reform, which will not be an easy task. Joining me now is Chuck Todd, moderator of Meet the Press. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Christy. We have learned Robert Long, the suspected spa shooter here in Georgia, legally bought the gun that was used a day before the shooting. And then in Colorado, the gun was purchased just six days before the grocery store attack. Pennsylvania Senator Pat right. Toomey is on the show today, a Republican who has worked with Democrats in the past to tighten gun background checks. So, I mean, does a divided Senate get anything done on guns or is an executive order on the table? Well, I just don't know what an executive order could do. I mean, in fact, there's a, the most recent executive order that was implemented on guns was, was President Trump when he tried to ban those bump stocks, which was that, which was that additive that was used on the uh, mass shooting that took place in Las Vegas at that country music festival. And a court just overturned that regulation. So um, the point is that I don't know if, you're, if, you're, if these executive actions are, are going to be able to stick. You're going to need legislation here. Look, Pat Toomey thinks that he can find the 10 votes. He thinks the politics of this continue to change. We have seen it in public opinion, and we've even seen it in Democrats recently have actually won uh, on, it, on the issue in suburban swing district areas advocating for more gun restrictions. And it, it was, that's a recent development. Uh, you know, before this last decade, that was not something that you saw very frequently. So the politics among the population on guns has changed. It hasn't hit the elected officials yet. And so that's the one thing I think Pat Toomey believes is that over time that Republicans are being won over on this. We'll see. Um, there's reason, plenty of reason for skepticism. Most of the victims in the spa shootings here in Metro Atlanta were Asian and the suspected gunman, Robert Long, he, mm -hmm. he claimed the attacks were not racially motivated. Uh, Cherokee County Sheriff's spos spokesperson was pretty heavily criticized for saying he just had a bad day, um, a claim right. Congresswoman Judy Chu strongly disagrees with. And Congresswoman Chu joins you today. Uh, Georgia finally passed a hate crime law last year, but I mean, you think Congress is ready to go further? Well, it's, it's, you know, I think one of the issues she has is it's less about what needs to be done and more about actually using the law. And I think sh that she and others are concerned that while there is a hate crimes law, that they don't know how, to, they don't know a hate crime when they see it, to be frank. And I think this is exactly one of those cases. And I think this is part of what Congresswoman Chu, and I'll be speaking, by the way, I'll be doing the interview. She'll be coming from Atlanta. She's meeting with the families uh, of the victims today of the spa shootings. And... I think that's the, you know, that that's sort of the, 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 the one way I think to 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 look at this. It, it's sort of, I think she believes, and I think this is the part of, of of hate crimes legislation. Is it is it the law itself, or is it how the law is enacted? And I think right now we do have an enactment issue. Mm, yeah, I think about seven lawmakers will be going to the site of the spa shootings to talk about things today. Okay, thank you, Chuck. Meet the press airs today at 10 following weekend morning. Thank you, Christy. Right here on 11 Alive.